Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna dial in some tones. We're gonna use some of the Neural DSP plugins that I'm really enjoying at the moment. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna just share with you my process for crafting guitar tones. We're gonna see some lead tones on the archetype Nolly and the archetype Pliny. So yeah, I'm gonna just share my, my process with uh, dialing tones with these plugins. So we're gonna use these two plugins here and I have kind of a darker, kind of fusion lead sound here with the Pliny. Let's hear how this sounds like. Yeah, so this is like my main tone, like 90% of the time. I'm actually using the, the Nolly quite a bit lately. I'm really enjoying that one. Um, let's hear that one. This is like a bit brighter and cuts through the mix a bit more. like as you can see from the preset name here it screams a bit more it sounds a bit more angry to me but in any case the process uh, and the chain is quite similar so I, s I always start with an overdrive uh, an overdrive pedal with no drive obviously and level all the way up uh, tone kind of as you like depending on what pickups do you have and that really is just to push the signal a bit more into the amp and it gives you a bit more compression, just makes certain things easier to play, helps you a little bit with that. And then we have the, the second amp here, which is amazing for like mid gain um, type of sounds, like, like this one, whether it's rhythm or lead, you know, more like on the rock side than metal probably. But that's like what I'm really into, like that, that's exactly the type of amp that I would have if, I, if I'd have um, real amps which I don't, uh, right now at least. So as you can hear, it's not a lot of gain. It's really just a crunch. And that's a very important point, actually. Try to get away with as little gain as possible. Most people use too much gain, I think. You know, when you use too much gain, it gets things messier. Now, obviously, you don't want to do the opposite as well. Like, if you have too little gain, then it's too difficult to play, and some notes are not going to go are not gonna come through, especially if you play more complex stuff, you know, compression and gain you, uh, definitely helps you, but don't overdo it, like, make sure you have the right, just the right amount, so that you can play more easily, but also it doesn't sound like a mess. The overdrive obviously really helps with that, it makes the sound tighter, so always recommended to, to use some kind of overdrive in front of the amp, and that's pretty much it, like, uh, let's try, let's try from scratch actually. But the moment is the like everything at noon. Sounds a bit dull, obviously. Like it's a very good raw tone, but it needs some work. You can already see that if I just turn on the overdrive like it was before, so no drive and level all the way up. We're like halfway there. That could work really well as a you know, rock, rhythm, tone. It's great. <laughs> I didn't do anything yet. Another thing we can do is turn on the bright switch, that is going to really help with the saturation of the high mids. Yeah, sounds a lot aggressive, like a lot more aggressive. It's a tiny bit too harsh for my liking so I'm gonna probably roll off the you know the super high frequencies here which you 
most of the time don't need and also the super low frequencies to make it a bit more focused on the mid range like you don't have to do this but you know at some point you're gonna do that in, in the mixing stage or at least someone's gonna do that <laughs> So to me, it sounds a lot more mix ready. Um, let's actually give it a tiny bit more gain. And the way you can judge how much gain you need is, again, by feeling kind of the compression helping you a little bit while you play lead stuff, but also making sure it's not too, like it doesn't get in the way of the playing. So make sure it doesn't turn everything into a mess. So right around here, to me it sounds like a decent balance between these two aspects. And as you can hear, this works really well as a rhythm tone, but also if I turn on some delay and reverb, it's gonna be pretty much perfect as a lead tone as well. Um, like that, that's pretty much it of course you can tweak some the, the EQ to kind of you know to your own taste but you won't need that much um, work with that usually I like to push the mids a bit more and you know kind of give it a bit less top end but like that's it that, that's literally everything I do as far as guitar tones as you can hear, it works as a rhythm tone, it works as a lead tone. So obviously you can tweak a few things for like depending on the solo, depending on the song, but like that's pretty much it. You know, there's, there's not much to it. And this chain, this process kind of stays consistent through any plugin that I use or even real amps and pedals. Like if we open up the, um, the Pliny, it's pretty much the same thing overdrive amp here now with this particular tone i have the, the treble rolled down quite a bit it's just in this case right switch off again depending on the the type of tone that you're trying to make i also don't really like the bright switch on, on the plenty one it sounds a bit fake again i roll off basically everything uh super low and super high uh cabinet section is pretty much the same actually i think we we didn't mention that here but it's literally like the same thing um, 57 uh, ribbon mic you can use the you know the 160 or the 121 which is not here on the Nolly unfortunately I think it's here on the yeah, yeah on the Pliny this one is really really cool and you know ribbon mics usually give you a, a smoother sound especially on the top end so they sound really nice blended with a 57 and that's usually what I go for. And then, you know, delay and reverb as you like. But that that's like, that's it. There's not much else to it. Now, the other cool thing about, especially the, this, uh, you know, this amp in the Archetype Nolly, is that I can just uh, change pickups and uh, have different tones. <laughs> So it's really res responsive to the um, volume knob, so I can just roll it down a bit and... Extremely versatile and extremely responsive to the, the touch. 
which is something that I really value in, in an amp or, or a plugin. That, that, that's really very important to me. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully this has been inspiring or helpful for you in any way. Again, I just wanted to share some of my process since a lot of you asked about this. So hopefully this will give you a few ideas on crafting your own guitar tones. Even if you use presets, try to always adapt the settings to your own pickups, your own guitar, your own playing as well. Like some presets, especially here, are very cool, but they need some tweaking. Some of them have way too much gain, at least for me, or for my pickups, or way too little gain. So try to balance the, the gain in the right way. That's probably the, the most important part. Play around with the input. That's another thing that, that's really helpful. Stay away, obviously, from the red on your inter interface or on your DI uh, as you track guitars. Make sure you're not clipping. That's that's very important. That's pretty much it. Like that, there's not much else to to making guitar tones. I really think it's really about the playing and not the gear. So basically, spend more time practicing and less time worrying about your tone. Anyway, guys, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. If you enjoyed the video, uh, drop your questions in the comments. I'll try to answer as much as I can. And I guess I'll just see you in the next video. Ciao.